So we will be starting today to work together towards the implementation of a loan to the government of Namibia of up to 500 million euros to support sustainable energy projects and investment in the country. Let's bring flesh to the bone. We have heard so many indications, announcements and commitments. Now it's time to deliver. EIB is ready to do so. Thank you very much for the hospitality extended to us. That's a fun black commitment for that group. Things will therefore happen. So today we have signed Memorandum of Understanding for the first project on green hydrogen in Africa. And this is just an example of what we want to see in more countries in Africa. In this case it is Namibia. Namibia is particularly well placed to produce green hydrogen for their own decarbonization and potentially for export to the European Union. So we have been working with the government so that the government can create the enabling environment for the private sector and right after we have signed letters of intent with two private companies that are already working on implementing projects to produce green hydrogen in Namibia. From this we want to expand to other countries in the region and conversations are happening on that as well. The project in Swagop Moon developed by HDF, Hydrogen of France, is a green hydrogen power plant. It's a new type of power plant that is uh, not emitting carbon, where we combine renewables and green hydrogen-based storage. The partnership between EIB and HDF today uh, that is being uh, solidified is actually bringing the, the future to the present, enabling, catalyzing, accelerating the process of transition. And we are today at the COP27 in Sharm uh, el-Sheikh. Today and this week, these two weeks, we'll be talking about implementing. We are doing it. For us, the, the partnership aspect is absolutely critical. I think for too long, Africa has been seen as a resource-rich region uh, of which you can extract value from. And we don't believe that model is sustainable. It's not, it's, it's not the way the world is going to move forward. Africa is going to, as a, as a region, is going to be very, very important in the decarbonization because it sits with a large amount of renewable energy. And for us, ours is a 40-year project. And it, that, for that to be sustainable, there needs to be equal economic participation between the sponsors and the private sector and the government on the other side.